Welcome back. This is part two of my wedding like information video. I don't know what to call it all about our wedding. Part one obviously went on for a really long time. This is still the same day, but I've just decided to break it up into sections so it's not so long to watch. So if you haven't seen part one, go and do that now. I'll put a link either here or in the description bar below. Um, and then check out this one. Oh, oh, oh. decorating my wedding I knew that I didn't have like a crazy ton of money to spend I didn't want to like hire in a decorator or anything like that um, I didn't want to hire decorations I just wanted to have it like super pretty and mostly like flower base I wanted the flowers to be like the the decoration um, I did DIY a few things I'm gonna be inserting a little bit of footage from my original footage that I made like six months ago just before my wedding but it's really low quality because like I said my hot drive crashed and like everything just turned to really bad quality or if not got lost um, so I'll be inserting a bit of that of how I like organized everything together I'm fixing up all of our wedding boxes now we have boxed up everything by like category with a label maker which was probably one of the best decisions buying before the wedding I could just label everything especially when you have like groomsmen and bridesmaids having like lots of the same accessories um, shoes, whatever it might be that you could just label um, whatever's there so nothing gets lost. So looking at the first box today, it's actually on a little trolley because it is so heavy um, and that is our cutlery box. Now we bought all our own cutlery because I really wanted gold cutlery and to hire gold cutlery is like really expensive so we bought it all. Inside this box we have bundled up each table's worth of cutlery. So everyone will get um, two forks, two knives, and one butter knife. Oh my gosh, even this one bundle is so heavy. Inside this has got all the knives and forks for that particular table, just so it makes it really easy to lay out um, on the day. And then Bryce has actually did this for me, and he's written the table numbers on each, which is really helpful. We've got 82 guests, well, 80 people, and then Bryce and myself, so 82 people coming to the wedding. Um, so that's a lot of cutlery for that many people. Gold, it's kind of like the theme of the wedding. I didn't want to have like silver cutlery, but then gold candlesticks and stuff, which I know is probably a little bit much for some people. They might think that's really silly considering our venue was going to give us silver cutlery for free. Um, but this worked out not to be too expensive, a few hundred bucks. And um, I've already got someone that wants to buy it off us after. So free for us I guess and I got you know the thing that I want. Box number two. So the placemats are just from Kmart. They were three dollars and the only reason I particularly bought these is to go in the middle of the table for the flowers and the candles to go on top of. Now I didn't really want to use these but our venue does not want any candle wax dripping on the hired tablecloths. Um, so I think that's pretty fair. It's just that I didn't particularly want this look, but I thought this blends in quite well and you probably won't even really see it with the flowers arranged on top and the candlesticks kind of hidden within the flowers. So hopefully you won't see that too much, but if not, doesn't matter. They're gray. They kind of go with the overall theme. The next thing that we've got in here are some napkins. Now I've already pre-folded the napkins the way that I like. They're just like a chunky knot at the top. Um, and these cap napkins are again from Kmart. Um, I didn't want to use the white like catering napkins because I just feel like, I don't know, I just don't really like that white on white on white on white. I think that is nice, but our particular venue is all white anyway. So I really wanted to change up the tables with a little bit of texture. Now these are like a linen look, um, so they just kind of make it look I don't know, just a little bit nicer and a little bit even more expensive, even though they were very cheap. They were like $2, I think, for a pack of two, so like a dollar each. Another thing that I have in here is our menus, and they are bundled up as well by table number. Rice actually designed, now he didn't design what's in the menu, um, but designed the layout of the actual menu. So if you have a little look, it's got everyone's name at the top and then all the food that's in the menu as well. Um, and the reason why we put everyone's name individually at the top of the menu is so we didn't have like a place card, a menu, a bon veneer, whatever you call it, like the little gifts, um, all this cutlery, all these plates and taking up 
the whole table so we just tried to cut down on that one thing and it was one less thing to do it didn't take Bryce too long to type in everyone's name once he'd already made the template so that was one way of cutting down um, another thing to print or another thing to purchase and I think it looks really cute these are little coat hangers for all of the bridesmaids and myself to hang our dresses on because the bridesmaids all have the same dress so we've just put I've made like a little tag with their initial on the front and that way they can hang there they're gonna look cute hanging there it's not all random uh, coat hangers from home um, they're just like cheap little velvet ones but I think they look nice and they were about three dollars for the whole packet from spotlight stores this box is our candles and our table numbers as well as our family photos now I have done a whole bunch of frames of every kind of important wedding in our, our family's life um, all of our grandparents our parents um, and some aunties and uncles and things which I think is really really sweet touch and they're gonna be um, either on the wishing well table or with the signing book so everyone can kind of have a look at the weddings over the years and it's really cute because we drew a lot of inspiration from our family's weddings I drew a lot of inspiration from my mum's wedding um, the pinks um, her particular kind of flowers um, we drew the suits inspiration from Bryce's parents wedding they had light grey suits um, with pink I want to say it's called Bon Bonnier, but I think I'm saying that wrong. Bon Bonnier. Our candles that are a gift to everybody and they are personalized with their initial on the front. And again, Kmart, 75 cents. So these only cost 75 cents per person. So that was really cheap for a decent looking Bon Bonnier. I know lots of people do like the cookies, but they're like $4.50 each or... I don't know, almonds or chocolates or the little name tags. Um, I think all those are really, really nice, but I wanted to do something a little bit different that people could take home, use, and don't have like Bryce and Sarah wedding on it. It's just got their own initial. Our table numbers, so they're just acrylic with stickers on them, and there's a little wooden block that they sit in on the table. So we've got those for all of the tables, except the bridal table, because I forgot to order acrylic for the bridal table. Doesn't matter, we know it's the bridal table. It's long, it looks different to the other one. I wanted to have fun with the seating chart. I know lots of people do like these beautiful, like mirrored ones, or a wooden one, or just a plain one in a frame, but I really wanted to like follow this kind of glass acrylic look. We just got this sticker um, cricketed from my friend, and then I actually hand wrote all of the names on the tables on here now this is not very big in my like dream world I would have had a really really big sheet of glass or acrylic but I didn't want to pay for one we actually got this from Bryce's mum found this at like a, a a St. Vinnie's or something and she was like oh just pull it out of the frame so that's what we did so we just pulled it out of the frame and then I wrote on the glass signing book so this little signing book pen and this is all from Kiki K and our signing book that's actually monogrammed. This is really cute. Bryce's mum actually bought this for us, um, I think for Christmas. Well, I know when I go to write in a signing book, I have no clue what to write. I'm like, love you lots. Like, or you write something really special, but you've probably already written that in their card. So this actually you have to like answer questions about, which I think is really, really cool. Um, also in here, we've got cake server, I think it's called. And on the front of it, it actually says, you take the cake. And I just thought that was really fun. And it's gold, which goes with the theme. We actually still need to get a cake knife. And I really want to get a gold cake knife. But if not, we'll just use the venue's silver one. But I really do want a gold one to go with it. Our wishing well is actually from Ikea. Um, it is like a terrarium or something. I don't know. You put plants inside it. Um, but we thought it was really cute that you could just kind of woo, pop the cards in the top and then close it back up. Now, it is not the best made thing in the world. It is very cheap. It was like $24, and we just stuck on the front like a cricketed sticker of Sarah and Bryce that we took off a balloon that someone bought us that had gone deflated. And then at the bottom of it, I really wanted to put like flowers or something pretty just to take it up, but instead, um, we are just going to use some leftover confetti from one of our parties um, that just kind of goes with our theme, and that was all of 
$2.50 from Dollar King. So I DIY'd like the candlesticks to go in amongst the flowers. My flower is actually by a dear friend, Haley from Little Willow Floral Design. Again, I'll tag everyone below. Um, she is beautiful. She did my exact, I couldn't have got it more perfect. Like I like it was my exact vision um i wanted beautiful orchids surrounded by like full roses just like super girly traditional but not too perfect so i wanted to strike the balance between like like the perfect circle flowers and like the like there's a lot going on here like lots of drippy pieces and everything like that i kind of wanted an in-between of that so yeah i think she just did like the most perfect version of that the colors worked really well with the girls dresses and my dress there wasn't too much white there wasn't too much pink it was just like a really good mix i also didn't want like a lot of greenery because greenery is pretty much just as expensive as flowers i don't know if you know that unless you're doing some like community pruning and you're taking some people's greenery from like out front of their house if you go to like the floral like the till flower markets greenery is like almost as expensive as flowers so i just wanted like as much flowers as possible and then some greenery just to like go with it um on my tables i just had flowers with candlesticks um we had our big banner sainty neon sign that was from little pineapple neon and that was like encased with all the flowers around Around it at our bridal table we had the piece on the bridal table that was also used in the ceremony tip for you there carry stuff reuse stuff if you've got a sign use that little piece and then put it on a table somewhere once you're done with it all those kinds of things if you can reuse things from your ceremony to your reception saves money and also extra flowers for you you had all the beautiful like stairs that she like decorated the stairs and did rose petals and things and we also threw rose petals i did look into buying like fake rose petals because i know real rose petals are quite expensive to be honest the fake ones felt like trash they were terrible from ebay i'm sure you can like look on and get some better ones but the ones i tried were so bad so we went with actual fresh rose petals in the gorgeous little like paper things that you throw up. And I love that photo and that little image there. I'll put it in now. Um, I just think it's so happy and lovely. Flowers were my favorite part. I think that was the part that was the most nailed by a vendor was the flowers. Oh, and we had flowers all over our cake. Our cake was like full of flowers. <laughs> it was like, it was a lot. Beautiful cake. Um, we had strawberries and cream flavor because that's Bryce and I's favorite. I did spray my own candlesticks gold. I bought them for literally five cents from Kmart during a Christmas sale once. I bought a heap of gold ones and then a heap of black ones and then just sprayed them gold. Hint, gold spray. Mm. It always turns out like a greeny color. It didn't look great. They looked pretty trash, but in photos they looked okay, so it was all right. Oh my gosh, and the candles. We bought like cheap candles from um like the long candlesticks from Coles. they were like two dollars fifty and they burnt through like that so half our candles were like dead by like the start of the reception some like lasted the whole night so make sure you actually splash out and get the good like long ones not the ones from like emergency section in Coles. thank you so much for watching part two um stay tuned for part three and i'll see you later thank you kindly <laughs>